what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest ROS on this device and this is the latest build of the ROS based on Android 11 for the Redmi K20 Pro and here we have the security patch as latest of March 5th 2020 and the ROS version is 11 of course and if you notice the stock kernel is still perf G kernel and here we have the build date as the 10th March 2021 build and we have the build number on the bottom and in my personal opinion the ROS has been one of the most stable experience on the Redmi K20 Pro and this is no different and I would say I have updated this build from the previous one which was the 6th March 2021 still I would say the experience has been great this ROM comes with two separate versions and this one is including the GX one and I have flashed it with the latest MIUI vendor which is 12.0.4 and if you want to clean flash this ROM on your Redmi K20 Pro card right there and I would say there is one more version that is without the GApps. You have to flash the GApps separately on that particular build. You can flash that too, but I would recommend going with the GApps included version. And right now, let me just jump into the settings. Let me show you the stock updater is there. And my device is right now decrypted. So I did download the update over here with the updater. Then I exported it. Then I flashed it manually. And if you don't know how to manually update a custom ROM, again, card right there. And I would say the update experience has been great. But if you really want to use this stock updater and flash the ROM itself with the stock updater too, I would say just go encrypted way. And that way you can use the like OT updates pretty easily with the stock updater app. And you can also see the change logs and stuff over here. As you can see, there are all these change logs depending on the build date over here. So yeah, this is great and you can do a lot of stuff with this updater. There is a mirror preference and the other preference and stuff. So yeah, really great. And we have the front camera sound effects over here. And as you can see, let me show you, there are a couple of things like these disable option for the front camera. Then we have these mini sound effects. Yes, there is no Star Wars kind of sound effects over here. We have the camera LED disabling option too. And the stock keyboard here is Gboard because this build again is the GApps included version. Let me show you the home screen first. This is how it looks like and I would say yes, this is pretty much like stock Android is looking. Let me show you what stock launcher that you get. As you can see, this is the ROS launcher that you get and really a good thing. And I would say this is great that it does not come with a pixel launcher, but instead it has this ROS launcher by default. And with this launcher, you get a lot of features. Like as you can see, there is the notification dots and stuff over here. Then we have the icon pack changing option. Then add app icon to the home screen option is there. Show Google app to the left option is there. Show search bar option is there. Then we have the suggestions disabling option. As you can see, if you go into it, you can disable the suggestions. So that's great. And there is also the hidden and protected apps. And with this, you can lock particular apps from here. As you are noticing for all these apps, we have this lock and hiding option. Yes, I have locked a couple of apps. I'll show that to you later on. But let me continue with the stock launcher settings. We have the notification gesture. Then we also have the double tap to sleep gesture. That is the anywhere double tap to sleep. And that's amazing. And you can just double tap anywhere in the home screen where there is a like there is no icon or stuff like that. And it locks the device. So this is the most handy and like really amazing feature as you are noticing. I really enjoy double tap to sleep anywhere in this ROM and works amazingly well. And to the left of the home screen, we again have the Google's discover page. And swiping down gets you to the notification panel or the quick settings panel and swiping up gets you to the app drawer where you can also search for any particular app as you can see and the widgets and stuff in the home screen is actually working fine let me just extend this widget so that it looks better and the wallpaper which i'm using is from the wallp app which i'll link below in the description you should not worry there is also fm radio built into the like rom itself so that is great you can use fm radio if you want to now let me talk about the stock camera situation here we get the google camera go edition by default over here and this camera works great for taking basic pictures it does not let you customize a lot of things but it takes really great like selfies or like really great normal pictures with the rear camera yes there is no option to switch between the cameras or the lenses over here with the google camera go but for taking normal photos or videos it's totally fine and totally usable in my opinion and there is also the translate feature if you want to do it you can now let me talk about some more things yes i have installed the google camera unix version that too is working super fine as you can see with the wide angle lens and stuff then with the 2x telephoto lens everything is working fine with the like google camera unix version also i have flashed the anx camera and this let me actually show you this is the version 185r modified version because i have flashed the anx camera over here with the recovery itself 
and this is a separate modded version which you can flash with recovery and that should work and with this like recovery flashable anx camera version 185r it worked great no issues so far and as you can see even the front camera like selfie camera and stuff is working fine as you can see the portrait mode 2 is working fine over here so no issues with the anx camera over here and this is not even the magic version this is the modified version that too is working super fine as you can see all the settings are there and you can of course switch between all these lenses that should work great and even in the video settings it's working fine as you are noticing so yeah a lot of like cool features over here with the unix camera that you get i'll link it below in the description you can just flash it with recovery it should work and i would say if you want to flash the magisk version or the official version of the unix camera version 185r video for that linked over there right now let me talk about the quick setting panel situation this is how it looks like and if you tap like this edit button as you can see there are a lot more things that you can edit and add as you can see there is the weather and stuff then we have this focus mode and stuff like that a lot of things are there but let me show you what i have added over here and here we have the android 11 screen recorder with that you can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time so that's a really great thing we also have the dc dimming mode and we have this reboot toggle too so this is great we get all these like reboot toggles and stuff but again there is no fps info or i cannot simply find it so yeah that's how it is there is no fps info showing up option but what do i like the most about this arrow is in the display settings if you scroll down and here if you go into the lock screen and if you scroll down again we get the fingerprint unlock and that is the always unlock with the fingerprint scanner and that is actually working fine here so in my opinion this rom offers me the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen also it has this always unlock with the fingerprint scanner that simply like gets this rom to another level and right now i think this is the only rom that offers this always unlock with the fingerprint scanner when you reboot you don't have to enter your pin you just have to tap the fingerprint scanner and it unlocks for you that is really really amazing feature in my opinion and really it makes a difference for me at least and i really like this rom because of those kind of like amazing features which you don't get with most other roms and we have the screen of animation too you can change that to crt or scale of course then we have prevent accidental wake up then we have always show time and info that's the always on display of course we have the lock screen charging info too over here so yeah a lot of stuff is there but it is there in the display and lock screen settings and otherwise we have the brightness level dark theme night light adaptive or auto brightness inside styles and wallpapers we have this theming option from there you can choose between these many fonts and there are these icons also you can change or like choose any accent color from here and you can just create a custom theme and you can apply that over here to get a new accent color and in the grid settings we have the 6x6 option up to and that works fine in the clock settings we have these mini lock screen clock presets yes that's not much over here but i would say it's plenty if you just want to see the time on the lock screen or the always on display and in the wallpaper section of course this is how it looks like we have the color set to boosted by default then we have the double tap to wake and then enable blurs option is there also we have the font size the display size and the dpi changing option also there is a weather option you can customize it of course and as you can see there are all these lock screen like clock kind of thing and let me show you the lock screen quickly this is how it looks like and as you can see you can see the temperature and stuff you can also like enable the city name and stuff if you want to and let me unlock quickly over here let me go back we have the status bar items from here you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons and volty and stuff you can enable over here of course and you can see the volty logo up there there is also the anti flicker or the dc dimming mode so that works super fine no issues with that let me jump into the battery settings and here is how it looks like in terms of battery life i have had no issues so far with the like rom itself it offers really great battery life in my opinion you can get six to seven hours of screen on time easily on this rom no issues so far also like the 18 watt fast charging is working flawlessly that is not a problem either and here if you tap over here you can see the full battery usage and if you scroll down we have the last full charge the screen on time and we have the battery temperature showing up over here you can also change the scale to fahrenheit over here and we have the adaptive battery then we have the battery saver the thermal profiles and stuff you can set and we have the smart charging option too and we have the battery charging light over here and then we have the battery percentage over here so yeah you can enable the battery percentage from here that will enable the battery percentage on the status bar let me go back we have the sound settings we have the media call etc volume stuff over here and let me scroll down more we have the dirac or the mi audio dirac 
and with that i have set it to youth edition and the sound quality via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is just amazing no issues and we have all these sound presets too then we have the enable hi-fi audio option and you can disable the dial pad tones screen locking sound charging sound charging vibration etc from here so yeah a lot of options and you can also set the vibrate for calls of course then we have these like phone ringtone and stuff of course also this is how the volume panel looks like over here and as you can see you can expand the volume panel just like this you can put the phone into vibrate or silent from here of course you also have the live caption option talking about the stock dialer this is how it looks like and this is definitely a pixel dialer it does not have any call recording option or such things but yeah for vault calls or like view wi-fi both works fine here Right now, let me show you the customizations, the more customizations that are there and those are inside buttons and gestures. So first, let's jump into the buttons. Here we have the enable advanced restart. So if you enable that and right now I have it enabled. So in the power menu, if I tap restart, as you can see, you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot right from here. So yeah, advanced reboot is working fine. Also in the power menu, you do get this Google smart home kind of features. Those works fine. And we also have the invert layout. If you're using the two or three button navigation, we have the playback control and volume wake stuff. And if you go into gestures, we have the quickly open camera that is like double tapping the power button quickly opens any camera app that you set. And we have the activate the torch while like long pressing and holding the power button while the device is locked. That is working fine. And inside system navigation gestures, we have the settings. You can increase the gesture bar length. That's why the pill bar looks quite long over here. And you can also change the dead zone size and the two button and three button navigation as well is there and swipe break screenshot is there let me show you as you can see the swipe break screenshot does work but again let me tell you there is no like long screenshot over here which is there in the latest evolution x from and that works fine but here you do not get any long screenshot option there is only share edit and delete option and in the power menu we have this sensitive content and stuff and double tap to sleep on the status bar also like is working fine no issues with that now let's talk about the other things like the app lock over here as you can see the app lock is working fine if i tap the like lock tap over here as you can see it shows protected app and you have to enter pin or you have to tap the fingerprint scanner with your assigned finger and as you can see right now it is working fine so no issue so far with the app lock over here talking about the safety net test as you can see it passes right out of the box so that means you can use apps like google pay or the sbi card or any other banking apps for that matter without any issues over here and that works out of the box and you should not worry about your white find or drm certification if you have not broken it but here in this case i have broken my drm certification earlier so that's the reason why it is showing l3 over here but if you have not broken it it should be l1 for you since this is a miui vendor based rom Otherwise, in my opinion, this ROM feels amazingly well optimized for the Redmi K20 Pro right now. And I have had no issues so far while daily driving with this ROM. And yes, AirOS has been one of the most amazing ROMs for the Redmi K20 Pro. Definitely after Evolution X, I would say. But yes, right now, like I have had bad experience with the ANX camera on the Evolution X ROM recently like the recovery flashable ANX camera, but here that's not an issue. So right now at this moment, I'll definitely recommend you switching to the Arrow OS based on Android 11, pretty much on your Redmi K20 Pro if you want the most stable experience so far over here. And if you can sacrifice on those long screenshot and stuff, definitely switch to Arrow OS. You will have an amazing experience with the features like double tap to sleep anywhere and the features like always unlock with a fingerprint scanner. And here are the GFX benchmark scores. And here are the end to end Geekbench score of this ROM. The RAM management has been really great over here. No issues so far that I have had. So thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends if you want them to know about the AeroOS latest build on the Redmi K20 Pro. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Cheater from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.